To add to this selection, where right now we have things selected, I'll hold down my shift key and we can see left click and our button binding now becomes select plus. So I can just select another member or I can window around multiple members and that's going to add to that selection. If I want to remove from this current selection, if I hold my control key, I can just select that information. I don't want to be included in that selection anymore. If I hold shift and control, we can see that now turns on toggle. So we can see it's selecting and deselecting things. If I zoom in here and I want to say, maybe I want to select this member. If I right click and go select other, that's going to allow me to select the material W38 or the member B33. However, if I right click over here and do the same thing and go select other, we can see that now brings in the material W38, the member B33, the left end connection component of beam 34, the material A7, or the member B34. That then gives me an option to select all A7s or all W38s. Because my right click was over top of the beam, as well as the angle from this beam, that's why we got the selection we did. So you gotta be careful when you are selecting so you know what is being added to. So if I have multiple things selected here, maybe I have these different members selected, and I wanna add this material to my selection, if I right click on that and go select other and select material, that is going to add to the current selection. So looking at our selection boxes here, if I go from right to left, that's going to give us that dotted line, which means that it will select anything inside of this box as well as anything that the lines touch. So we can see it selects that full member. However, if I go left to right over the same section, that is only going to select what is completely inside of this selection box. So now we can see it's no longer selecting any of those beams, only just the column and the materials and holes within that bounding box.